Miami-Dade is the county that's been hit the hardest. Mayor Jimenez says Miami-Dade police will be out in fourth this weekend. They close businesses that defy social distancing and mask rules. Fines and even up to six months in jail are on the table for violators. For more on what led to this dramatic decision, we go live to CBS 4's Mike Cuno. He is on Miami Beach tonight. Mike. Yeah, Jim, you know what? That order you were mentioning says it's going to target the most irresponsible of individuals. Now, we've been out here on Miami Beach for about an hour, seeing a lot of people wearing their masks, but still a lot of people not wearing their masks, many of them young. And that young age group is the group that local and state officials have said is the reason for this recent surge in cases. As COVID-19 cases in the state of Florida go up, the median age is coming down. Friday, it was at 42. So you're talking about a lot of people in their 20s, in particular, uh, early 30s. Um, and then even the ones who are above that median age, we're seeing a lot of people in their late 30s and in their 40s. Governor Ron DeSantis and the state shut down bars to help slow down the surge. In Miami-Dade, the percent of positive cases to those tested jumped back up to near 20 percent. They've seen more than 1,500 new cases. This week, local officials like County Mayor Carlos Jimenez closed businesses that didn't follow new normal protocols. We're going to be uh, tough and our police and our inspectors are going to go out. And if you're not abiding by the rules, uh, you will be fined. Uh, and uh, if you don't, really don't abide by the rules, something else can happen to you. Specific Miami neighborhoods have been designated as COVID-19 hotspots. City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez paid a visit to one of them, Little Havana, and handed out masks. Se puede in his city, not wearing one will result in a fine and possibly an arrest. He fears another shutdown if the hospital systems get overrun. All options have to be on the table. Um, you know, when we see our hospitalizations go up, our ICU beds go up, our ventilators are going up. Um, still with sufficient capacity, but going up, it's, it's, it's worrisome. Broward County had more than 700 new cases. County Mayor Dale Holness told CBS4 their spread isn't specific to hot spots like Dade. They're seeing more community spread in long-term health care facilities, summer camps, daycares, and private businesses. Still, we have not reached any level of surge yet. Dr. Joshua Lentius, the chief regional medical officer for Broward Health, says their hospitals have plenty of room. We have enough staff to take care of everyone that's in the hospital and then some. We also have plans to surge up in the event that that's needed. We can increase our capacity by 20% in the first phase. That is, encompasses the healthcare resources and personnel that are needed to account, accomplish that. Again, all those major numbers that came out on Friday leading up to that decision here in Miami-Dade County by Mayor Carlos Jimenez at the beaches will be closed for that July 4th weekend. On Miami Beach, Mike Cuno, CBS4 News.